In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on everything you need to know about basic video editing and iMovie. So if you're a beginner and you don't know anything about iMovie or anything about video editing in general, this is definitely the video for you. I'm going to be sharing with you the basics that you need to know to get started with iMovie. And if you're a brand new beginner, don't sweat it because I will definitely show you everything you need to know click by click on what you need to do for with iMovie. So by the end of this video, you should be able to know how to create a YouTube video start to finish with the editing. Now, as we get going, if you're brand new, feel free to watch this back again. So that way you can really get the ideas down. Or if you already know some of these things, feel free to skip ahead. I'll leave a time code in the description so that way you'll be able to jump ahead to which section you need to learn. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump into it. This is video editing with iMovie. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do, of course, is you need to download the app. So go ahead and go to the app store, download it on your iPhone or your iPad. That would be pretty easy. If you're on a desktop, though, it won't be in your dock right away. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we're just going to go over here to our app store and type it in the search. Now this is the one that you want to get, it's just like the basic iMovie program that you see on your iPhone or iPad, go ahead and download that. I already did that. And now as you can see down here, it's not going to show up in your dock yet at all. So you want to go ahead and go to your launch pad, and where you see the iMovie app right here, you want to drag that down here to your dock. So now you have it right here. And then to open it now, all you have to do is click on that in the dock and it'll open up the app. Now this is the first page that you're going to see here. You see projects and then you see media up here. You can import the media right away, but I would suggest going into projects first. And you're going to see this box that says create new. And it's got a plus symbol on it. Now when you click it, you have two options. You have a trailer and you have a movie. Now these are just editing presets. Trailer does do a couple of cool things, but we don't want to make a trailer. We want to make a video. So for that one, you're going to tap on movie. Alright, so right away, when you open up a brand new software, it's going to be very overwhelming. Don't worry about that at all. Take a deep breath. I'm going to take you through this step by step on all the different windows and all the different tools you have going on right here. So we will go over everything step by step. Now, before we get going, there is something I want to talk about, and that is file organization. File organization is so important, and it definitely helps a lot because not only will you be able to produce a good video, is your mind won't go crazy trying to find that one single clip that you forgot about. Or or anything that involves uh, preparing your video before it goes to import. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. What I'm going to do here is we're going to close out our project actually. We're just going to minimize that. And now we have our desktop here. We're just going to create a new file. Go ahead and call it YouTube video. And there are a couple of folders that we want to create inside of this. So if you open up this now, it's just going to be a blank folder. So the first folder we want to create inside of this YouTube video folder is the video section. So for all of our video footage, we'll just title this video. If you have multiple cameras, you can do uh, multiple folders of course. If you have one camera, just do it inside of this video folder. So now inside of the video folder, we can create camera one, and then we can also do camera two. So now that we got the two cameras in there, we also want to go inside of here and create B-roll. If you know you want to add B-roll onto this video, you can also drop that into this folder. So now we have camera one, camera two, and B-roll. There you go, it's nice and tidy. Now over here, we also want to create the audio files. And for the audio, we're going to create three different folders. So the first one's the audio folder. And that'll just be the regular folder there. Inside of this, you want to create three more folders. So we're going to have camera audio. Now, if you create an external audio track, this is where that would go. If you record it directly into the camera, you don't need to worry about that one. The other folders we want to create are background music. And then we also want to do sound effects. Now sound effects, it's not going to be like extra things you add on necessarily how you think about it like music, but it's things like if you were to add like swooshes or pings or anything for all of your text graphics, we'll get into more of that later though. So now that you have those folders, those will be essentially everything that you need for your video. So we have our video folders, camera one, camera two, B-roll. 
And then we have our audio folders, camera audio, background music, and sound effects. So those are the files that I always have in place for my videos just to keep it all nice and tidy for my own brain. And then it also helps out because now that we have all these folders, we can just import them directly into iMovie and keep it nice and tidy there. So everything has its own spot like I was saying before. All right, so just for the sake of getting something in the app so that you can see all what it does, let's go ahead and open our folder here. And then we're going to open up this video tab. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and drag in some clips right here that I've already recorded. So now you can see that you have at least a few files there for you to try out and I will be providing some clips for you so that you can get a good grasp on the whole video editing idea. So now that we have these here, what I want to do is I'm gonna keep these in the folder here. I'm gonna pull up my app again. And so we have these three main windows. You have this upper left hand window here, you have the right panel over here, and then you have the bottom section. Now I'm gonna go through each of these sections, so don't worry about it at all. The first one we wanna focus on here is the import media area. And this is where you're gonna be importing your footage. Now, right off the bat, it doesn't do anything inside of this app. You have to manually place all of your clips into the app so you can edit them. Go ahead and click this import media button with the arrow. And you're gonna see this huge window pop up here. Now this is everything that we need to import all of our footage and all of our music too. Now there's a couple ways to do this. You can scroll all the way through and find yours, which might be pretty easy. But if you already have this on a hard drive or something else, it'll pop up here on the left side as well. So we're just gonna find our folder and we named that YouTube video. That's right here down on YouTube video. We're gonna click that file down there and find our video folder. Now, as you can see, we have a couple of the clips down here and we're just gonna select this one. This one looks all right and click on import. Import just means it's gonna take those clips as a reference and it's gonna put them into our application so they can be edited. Now we finally have a clip that we can start editing inside iMovie. All right, so now you know how to get your clips inside of iMovie. Now, what do you do with it? So this introduces us to the inspector panel, and that is the window right over here on the right side. And this is the section that will show your clips. Now, if you go ahead and on the left side here with our clip, go ahead and just click that. That'll pull up the video right here into our inspector panel. Now you can click on the play button here and that'll play your video. And then there's a couple of things you can do here too. Uh, if you click the space bar, that'll also play the video. And so while you're going through this, if you have a bunch of clips or a bunch of different takes, what you can do is you have the X and the heart. You can actually click the X if you don't like that section. And if you see over here, it'll put a red line over that video clip. So that way you know you don't wanna use that one. Or you could also just put on a heart and that'll put a green clip. That means you are good to go and you do wanna add Add that clip onto your video. Now it's not gonna delete any of your clips at all when you're using this so if you're editing your video and you take away and you clip some sections down or you extend the videos it's not gonna affect the main file so what you have downloaded on your computer right now stays there and then it just uses it as a reference on your project so you can do whatever you want on your project and it does not affect the actual video clip you have on your computer. So now that you know all that stuff you can go through and scrub through all of your footage and see which ones that you do want to add in your video and which ones you want to leave out of your video. And there's a couple of ways that you can do this now that you want to edit the actual video is you can come through here and you can actually drag this clip onto your timeline panel. So you can go through and drag it just like what I did. Also so another thing that you can do is um, on the video clip here, you're gonna see that it has this little plus button on the corner. If you click on that one, you can see it highlights it and you're gonna add the section to the movie. So if you click on that plus button, it does the same exact thing. And that is how you add clips onto your timeline to get your video edited. All right, so now that your clip is on the timeline, there are a couple of things that we can do to make this a little bit more customized. If you wanna see this a little bit more closer, if you wanna zoom in, we can do that all right here. So this is your timeline window now. If you see this yellow bar with the little arrow on top, that is your playhead. This is where you select what point you want to be in the video. So if I click over here, it'll be in the middle of the clip, at the end of the clip, at the beginning. It just basically tells you where you're at in the footage. And if you notice here on our inspector panel, this is actually switching now. We're not looking at our clips. We're looking at our timeline. And that's what's down here. As you can see, if I 
hover over this left to right. Our inspector panel here on the right side will be for our finished video. Now you have some play buttons over here. You can go to the beginning with this arrow. You can go to the end with this arrow. And then you could also play. Now you can hit the play button there and it'll just start your clip. Now, if you see right under here on the inspector panel, you have this little slide bar. What this does is you can go ahead and click it and it'll zoom into your footage. So now as you can see, our timeline got super long here. It didn't change the speed at all on our clip, but now it just gives a bigger picture of where you can see for your video. So now you can slice very small sections and cut out all the extra stuff you don't want. The other thing here is if you click on the settings, this will pull up your video settings. As you can see here, it'll read what type of file it is, 1080, 4K, however you decide that in your camera settings. You can also select a theme. Now these themes, they uh, play a role in your actual video. So I don't really use a theme per se, but you can if you wanna do a certain style of video. If you check out these down here, you can do a filter on your clip. Now if you see over here on the left side, these filters change how your video looks. And then you have a couple of settings down here as well. You have trim background music, fade in from black, fade out to black. Now these uh, basically just do different transitions that we're gonna talk about a little bit later, but you can also add those in right there. For clip size, this pretty much tells on your timeline how large your clip is. So if you go ahead and slide this, you can check out on your timeline that your clips get larger. And this helps if you wanna get really up close and look at that. So I'll keep it right about here. Audio show waveforms, you do want this button click. If you click off of this, you can see the blue waveforms go away but it does help, especially if you're syncing with the audio to have these waveforms on. And those are the project settings down there. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about cutting. Cutting is essential for video editing because you can basically take out anything that you don't want in the clips, whether you're rambling on or you wanna take out a bad take like I've done in this video actually. There are a lot of uses for cutting and we use it a lot in especially YouTube and just video editing in general. So with iMovie, there are a couple of things that you can do to really speed up this process because it is a little bit time consuming. Now the easiest way is the longest way. There are a couple shortcuts though that will help you out a lot. If we come down here to our timeline panel you can click anywhere you want to on the video and the playhead will take you there so if I want to go right here where I see this audio starts I can check out where that is or I can just keep clicking anywhere I want to and it'll skip ahead now as you can see from my inspector panel over here if I just hover with my mouse I can see where the video plays without having to actually click play a hundred times, which is really nice. So if you want to hop around and pick and choose where you know the clips are good, that's where you want to do it is you just want to hover over here, find where those audio waves are, and then you can click here and see if that's a good take by pushing play. Now as you can see right here, this is just the start. We don't want to get any of this in there. So what you can do is you can take this top corner, if you see my mouse just switch to an arrow and you can drag this to where you want it to start. So I'm gonna drag this right about over here. And it should just start right there. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, cool. So that's the first way you do it. You can just grab the corner and drag it. Now let's say you want to clip out a middle section. How are we gonna do that? So the easiest way to cut the middle section is to just hover over where you would like to clip out the section. Click on the start point. And then you can also right click. Now if you right click on this, you're gonna see a couple options here. You have cut, copy, delete, split clip, add free frames, detach audio, and then you can go through all these. The one that we wanna do is split clip. Now if you click on that, what it does is it physically splits the clip. So now you have two clips. So that was our start. Now you wanna to go to the end where you see all the spacing is. And we're gonna click right about here. Now you want to do the same thing, right click and do split clip. And there you go. Now we get rid of this middle section. So now click on the middle section and hit delete and that will get rid of there. Now you're not going to have a gap there. This will just automatically skip ahead. So now we can play it. And as you can see, there wasn't any skip in the video. It just went right from the first part to the second part. Now we wanna get rid of all of this extra fluff in the middle, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. And now we have the intro that we want. Now, if you found that you actually didn't wanna delete that, 
all the same controls that you would use like on a Google Doc or on a Microsoft Word document. Anything that you use to edit a document, all those controls work on video. So you can actually hit Command Z and that will undo all of your changes. And you can hit this as many times as you want to. If you just want to do it once, do it once and that will come right back. So this is super helpful because you literally cannot destroy anything. You can, yes, delete, erase all the work that you want to. You pretty much have all of the settings you need to where you won't destroy it and you can only save what you want to. So here's the editing layout for cutting. You want to cut off the beginning, those first few seconds that are just dead space. So that way you can come in right where you start speaking. You also want to cut out all of the middle sections where there's like a random pause or a super long breath or a bad take. And then you also want to cut out the end where there's some dead space too for when you push on stop recording. Now let's talk about some shortcuts here. Now if you want to go ahead and look at these shortcuts, tap on any section and right click. These will pull up all of your shortcuts here. So as you can see here, cut is command X. So if you want to delete this, I'm going to tap on this clip and click on Command X. As you can see, it just got rid of our whole clip. Now to undo that, if you did that by mistake, you can hit Command Z and that is undo. And now you can see we have our clip again, but it's all shrunken. So we can go through and get our slider back and then go back to the beginning here. Now the next one we said was copy. If you want to copy and paste this, you can do just that. So click on Command C for copy, and then anywhere you want to, you can go to the playhead here and hit Command V for paste. And as you can see, now we have two clips. Okay, so the next one you really want to know is the split clip, and that is where you are able to do all of this middle section. So if you have some dead space here, it says our split clip is Command B. And for that one, you can come through here on this middle section. I'm gonna go right about here. And I'm going to hit Command B, and that'll clip it there. And then I'll go through to this other end of the dead section, and I'm going to hit the same thing, Command B. And then now you can get rid of this clip by hitting Delete. So click on the clip, click Delete, and there you go. You have one section going to the next section. So that is how you clip with the cutting. You can do all the middle sections, and they can also go through at the beginning sections. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom out, and you can see all of these sections now. I have five main clips, and then a super long one. You can go through and edit, but just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and make this clip shorter. So now let's say if we wanted to end the video right here, how would we clip that for the end? So I'm gonna do one more right here. Command B delete the end and now we have our whole entire video from start to finish all right so we've gone over cutting next let's talk about music so for the audio on this clip what I want to do is I want to select the individual clip and there's a couple of different ways you can do this the first way is you can go ahead and find this blue bar on this and it's going to say adjust volume and you can go ahead and drag that up or down as you can see it goes up to 400 percent and down to zero percent now 100 percent is right up at the normal let's see if i just wanted to give this a small boost to hear it i'm just going to bump this up to maybe 150 and then you can go through and do this on all of the clips as well. You can just drag that up or down however you see fit. You can just match that if you want to. But the main goal is you want to be able to hear all of this over everything else. Okay, now there is one more way to do this like I was saying before. If you go ahead and click on this first clip again, you can see we have some settings right here. Now these settings go in tandem with our line that we have going over here. So if I drag this fader, you can see those audio levels down here on our clip are going up and down. So for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and select this right at what we were saying before, around 300%. That should be able to move that there. Now you can click on auto. I don't really suggest that, but auto will be able to uh, take your audio clip and it will determine how loud or quiet it needs to be on its own. Now I'm going to go ahead and upload our audio clip. I get my audio from Epidemic Sound, fantastic music services if you want that. I am not a sponsor, but um, I just really like their music and use their library a lot. So I'm going to go ahead into my background music folder and I have already downloaded my clip. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this. As you can see here on background, we have this one into the blue. 
And so you can go ahead and just click on this download button up here for import video. I'm going to scroll down to my video clip. So I have a YouTube video and inside background music I have this into the blue track. I'm going to import it and that is where it shows up right here now. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag this down here to our background layer. Now there's a couple of things that you can do here to adjust the audio. As you can see, uh, my clip is only this long. I don't want it to be super long. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on Command B and just clip that. Now here's the problem that you're going to encounter is whenever you upload a track, typically the music is going to be much louder than the actual talking clip. So you want to bring that down. You can go ahead and grab this little bar here and drag it up and down. Or if this is selected, you can also use the fader up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this down. As you can see there, my green audio track is going up and down. And so I'm going to drag this down to about maybe 10, 12% and see how that works. Okay, for me, that's working out pretty good. So I'm going to keep that there. And then if that's not as good, you can drag it up or down as needed. But anywhere between around 9 to 15% will do you pretty good as long as you have good audio for your main track. Okay, so we have imported our audio here and we've dragged that down here to the file. So let's talk about audio for fade ins and fade outs. All right, so if you see right here, I have this little green dot on the corner there, and that is gonna help you with the fade. So I'm just gonna grab this little green dot, and I'm just gonna drag this to a couple seconds inside, and you're gonna see that the audio will now fade into the track here. Now you can go in at the very end, and we're gonna do the same thing. For a fade out here, you're just gonna grab this green little dot, and you're gonna drag it. Okay, so we have our audio fade in and fade out. Now you can do this with the regular track that you talk with. Um, it really just depends on what you're using with this. Typically you'll just wanna cut it and it'll be a hard cut. That just means it'll stop right where it should stop. And then for the audio, that's where you're gonna fade in with the background music and that will help it kind of blend all in together. All right, and that is how we're going to edit our audio. Like I said, just keep it super simple. You just wanna get it straightforward for this cut. So nothing too fancy, but you do want to get those audio fade ins and fade outs like so. And that is the basics for editing your audio. So like I said before, just make sure your clip there is really nice and even super loud so that you can hear it over the background audio. And then you're going to take this main bar and then drag the audio down to about 13%. And then from there, you're just gonna fade in the ends. So you're gonna take this dot and then drag it right where you want it to go. You can balance this on your own video, but that's the main basics surrounding your audio editing. All right, so you know the basics of how to cut and how to place media in here. So now let's talk about what you need to know for titles. And if you look over here, we're gonna go to the title section. And basically what we have here is a whole preset library of all the titles you might wanna use inside of iMovie. Now, something that you can do is you, if you wanna check them out, all you have to do is hover over the item from left to right and it'll show you the preset. So if I go over here, I'm gonna take a look at Let's see, let's take a look at Reveal. That's a pretty good one. I'm gonna go here and just hover over that. And if you take a look at the top right on our inspector window, you're gonna be able to see what it is from start to finish. Now to import it, it's super simple. All you need to do is grab it and drag it anywhere onto your timeline down here. So let's say if this was a good spot right at the beginning. And now that we have it here, there's a couple of things that you can do. Uh, if you go ahead and take a look here, we can grab the end and drag it however long or short we want to. You can also do the same thing on the front end of this as well. Then also what you can do is you can grab the whole thing all together and drag it anywhere you want to on the video. So if you want it over here, can drag that if you want it over back at the beginning you can drag that too doesn't really matter anywhere you want it to go now to change the text settings all you need to do is double click on the slide there and it'll highlight over your text and this opens up a couple of settings that you want to check out here you have the font now this is just like anything that you would use on your Mac documents so if you click on that it opens up different fonts why don't we check out the Helvetica new bold that's a pretty basic font that you can use there. And then another one that you can use is the first one that it pulled up, which is the Avenir Next Bolt. This is a pretty good one as well. 
And those are a few basic titles that are really great. Now next what you can do is you have the font size. And for the font size here, it says auto, but if you go ahead and click the arrow, you can see what font size you have. This is just like your document, like I said before. You can also just highlight it and change the number to whatever you want to. So let's say 105, that's what it'll be right there. And then the next thing you can do is you can switch the orientation if you want it on the left, the middle, the right. So you can change through all three of those just like a regular document like I said. And then you also have the bolds, you have the italicize, and then you have the outline. So you have all three of those just like the document and you can also change the color here. Now if you hit the color, it will open up this color wheel. You can change it to any single color that you want to. Alright, so now that we have it on red, I'm just going to go ahead and reset this to white. And that is the whole thing there. Now if you want to reset all of this, there is a reset button over here in the corner. And then also you have this blue check mark button. This just means that these are the settings that you want to use and you click that to OK all of your settings. And there you have it. You now have the text. So now I'm just going to go ahead and check that. So I'm going to go back to the beginning here, click play. All right. And that doesn't look half bad. So you can go around and play through all of these settings from start to finish. Uh, basically all you want to do is see which one you want to use. Go ahead and hover that over the top. It'll show you where it's going to go on the screen. And if you want to do it like a text in the middle, maybe use like the chromatic lower third. And you can find whatever effect. So maybe use reveal lower third. This is a really good one. And then if you have a main title, maybe do the reveal one right here. So go ahead and start with those two, the reveal lower third or the reveal, and you can use those all on your project. Okay, so now that we added the text, if you want to add sound effects to that text, it's actually pretty simple. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to my media. We're going to upload some sound effects. I like to use the pops or the swooshes. Those typically work pretty well. So I'm just going to upload this swoosh. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this now behind the audio and as you can see there if I zoom in you have this small little guy way over here now if I'm just gonna go ahead and play that you can see what's going on there so you wanna learn how to make all right so that doesn't sound half bad and that's how you do that so it's really simple you just upload whatever sound you're doing to your media library let's say if we want to do a pop sound we'll do the pop sound and then you're just gonna drag it wherever you want to, typically at the beginning of the clip. And then now you can see it uploaded there. I'm just gonna go back to the beginning now and I'm gonna adjust the volume with our lines over here. So there we go, we can't hear that one. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it up to about, let's say it's 300. You wanna learn so you Okay, so now we're just going to go back to the beginning and play that and see where it happens. It looks like for me, it needs the full 400. So let's see what that sounds like. So you want to learn all right, and there we go. So that is how you upload all of those. I hope that helps a lot. And now you have everything you need to upload your graphics. All right, so let's say you finished your video. You did all of your cuts. You arranged everything how you wanted to. You added your texts. You added your sound effects, your background music. You did all of that post-processing. Now, what do you want to do to end it? So there's really only two things that I want you to do here, just to keep it really simple and organized. The first thing is I would say go over to the settings right here and click on fade in from black and fade out from black. And this will basically add a gradient like you see over here in the corner. And if you just hover over that from left to right, you're going to see it fade from black all the way to your clip. Now we're going to export our videos in iMovie and this is a really simple process. There are a few things that you want to do though. So let's go ahead and check that out. The first thing is you want to head over here to this download button. And when you do that, it pulls up a couple options. You can email it, you can save the frame, you can post it directly to YouTube or Facebook, or you can export the file. We just want to export the file here. So now on export file, you're going to see this window pop up and you have all of the different settings right here. All of this is customizable as well. So if you go up to the title, you can change the title and let's just say we call this uh, what the video was named. So we're going to do iPhone video tutorial. 
All right, and then you also have the description so it says what the movie is about. And then you have the tags too. I don't really worry about this too much. There's not really much you need to focus on. The main thing is down here on these settings. So format, you wanna make sure it exports the video and the audio. If you wanna do it for a podcast as well, you can do the audio only setting and that will export it as MP3. Resolution, we recorded it at 1080, so just make sure it stays at 1080. You don't want to really downscale or upscale because it doesn't have enough information there for going up to 4K. So go ahead and stick it on that 1080p if you recorded that way. Quality, quality is good for high. Uh, go ahead and keep it there, but the compress, make sure it says better quality. And then from there, you have the estimated time it takes to export the clip, and then you have the estimated file size. For our purposes here, that should do just fine for us, and then go ahead and click Next. And now this window pops up here, and this tells you where you want to save it to. So uh, once again, you have the name right here. You can change it. It does the same thing there. And then you change where you want to save it to. Now you can save it onto a hard drive or desktop. It doesn't really phase us too much. It really just depends on how much memory you have. So if you don't have too much memory left on your laptop or computer, go ahead and save that to the hard drive. So for us, we might as well just go ahead and do this on desktop since we don't have our hard drives plugged in. And then you just click on save. So I hope that helps. Next, what I want to do is I'll take you through the whole process on a video for an example, and I'll let you see every single click I'm doing using all of the different settings that you have seen in this video. So let's take a look at that one next. All right, so now that I showed you everything that you're going to do, I want to go through and we're going to do this video from start to finish, and you can see my entire workflow on a video that actually matters. So uh, first off, the first thing you want to do here is I downloaded all of my clips. So I'm just going to go in my YouTube video folder and for the sample video here that we cut, I'm just going to drag this into the video folder. So that way we have it there. And then I have a couple sound effects and background music. So I'll put the sound effects over here in this folder and then background music here. And we don't have a secondary audio, so we can leave this folder blank. Okay. So now that we have that, we have our video clip here in the video folders, and then we have our sound effects over here in this folder, and background music. So now you have everything pretty much you need. If you don't want to do any background music, you don't really have to do that at all. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the application now. So I'm going to pull up iMovie, and we're going to start a new project. Okay, so now I want to import my media. Now I'm just going to go ahead and open this folder back up. And we're just going to drag and drop our clips. So I have my sample video clip. Three minutes. Super fun. And then audio. We're going to go ahead and do our background music. Sweet. And then our sound effects. And we'll get to sound effects last. Great, so the next step is we're just going to go ahead and add the clips to our timeline. I already know I want to use all of these clips because it's a, just an easy, quick little tutorial setup here. And so we are going to go ahead and add this in. So I'm just going to drag it down to the timeline here. And then we don't want to do this part yet, but what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and add in our music as well. So we want to adjust the music part first before we get into that. I'm going to add in a second layer here since it's not as long as well. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and clip through our video. If you remember from before, that will just be Command B for our clipping. So I'm just going to go through here. We're going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm just going to cut through and go through all of this stuff. Now I'm not going to delete any of the clips yet because I want to make sure we get all the right points. So now let's start clipping. So Command B. And then over here. Okay, so I just went through and I clipped out all of my sections here so you can see kind of what that looks like. Now I'm just going to go through and delete all the fluff, all the parts that we don't want. Sweet. Okay, so now that we did that, we got through and got rid of all of our clips. Now we're done cutting. So as you can see there, I kind of messed up the audio. Let's go ahead and switch that out. So we're going to just delete that real quick and pull up our audio. 
There we go. I'm gonna add another one at the end just to make sure we have everything there. All right, that sounds pretty good. So now that we have all that, the next thing that you wanna do is we're gonna add the fades at the beginning and end. So we're just gonna drag this, drag this dot over, make sure that kind of fades in. There we go, that sounds pretty good. And then we also have the ending. So I'm just gonna pull this right to the end. All right, so that's kind of cut off there. So we'll go ahead and play around with that. Now for this one, I'm just gonna go through here and we are going to go to our settings now. We're gonna fade in from black and fade out from black. And that should help a little bit better. All right, let's see what that is. Sweet, that looks good. And then our intro. Awesome. Okay, and there we go, there's our whole fade. And now we have our clips all set together with the music and with our edited video. So the next thing we want to do now is we want to add our text layers and our sound effects. So we have our two sound effects up here. I'm going to go over to our titles and we're just going to match up wherever we start talking about our sections. We have three main sections if you were able to listen through that. So I'm just going to go through right here. I know that this part's the intro and I come in right around here with the screen. So I'm going to start it right about here and see what we're doing with our text. Reveal lower third and I'm going to start that right here And we're just going to extend that out a little bit of ways So now my title here. I'm just going to name that number one Split clip I'm going to include that which is command B all right, there we go. Let's see how that looks now. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is, now that we have this one, I'm gonna go over to our swoosh, and I'm gonna add that in right here. All right, that looks pretty good, I like that. So now the next one we wanna do is, we wanna go through number two and add that one. I'm just gonna go over here, and let's do a different one, actually. Let's see where that falls. Sweet, so that sounds really good now. And then we're just gonna go through and do this for the third one. All right, and there you have it. So that should be all of our text now because I know we have three sections and we have our whole clip from start to finish. One, two, three, that looks fantastic. And so now we just need to do one little playthrough. We wanna make sure all of it's really good start to finish and that will be our whole video. For this last little element, just make sure all of your stuff looks really, really nice. Make any changes that you want to. And from there you can export your video. So like I said, keep this really simple. You don't even have to add text. You can just clip out the sections that you want to and that will be your whole video. All right, so let's roll it, take a look. Hey guys, I'm Jordan Morrison and today we will be talking about the top three shortcuts I use in iMovie that will level up your workflow. So let's jump right into it and get started. Number one is split clip. This is super useful. I find it really handy because it takes forever to cut your videos if you don't use that. So let's check it out. So the shortcut I use, which they give you right here, is if you right click on a video, you can see all the shortcuts here. The shortcut for split clip is Command B. So if you go ahead and take a look at this, you can stop anywhere you want to. Let's say it's right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Command B and then go to the end here, click Command B again, and that will be your split clip function. So it works out really handy and it speeds up my workflow very quickly. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna go ahead and clip this out and only keep the parts that I want to. So I'll go here, I'll make all my cuts. And there we go, we already have our video. So we can just go ahead and get rid of all the fluff that's out of there. And we have already selected our clips. Now number two is play from the beginning. So let's say if we have our clip and we have it all the way edited, we wanna just go ahead and play that and we'll do one final watch through and then we'll export our video. So to do this, you can't go ahead and click at the very beginning, do the whole slow process, click the space bar, you know how it goes. But there is an easier way to do that. So let's say if you're in the middle here, let's say you're over here, you can actually hit the slash bar that's right below the delete button. And so for this one, all you have to do is click that button and it'll automatically start your clip. And there you go. Okay, so it's as easy as that. 
And then number three is detach audio. So let's say if you have uh, audio and you wanted to record this with a podcast mic instead of your camera microphone. All you have to do for that is you go ahead and click on the clip here and then you select Alt, Command, and then B. And then as you can see here, it pretty much got rid of the audio there and it separated it. So now I have my audio down here and the clip is by itself. So if I were to go ahead and delete that, as you can see here, you have only the video playing. There you go. And there you have it. Those are my three top tips for editing an iMovie that will really ramp up your workflow. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, so that should give you everything that you need to know to get started with iMovie today. If you found this helpful, don't forget to leave a comment down below and like the video if you found some great content. And I will see you guys in the next one.